The voice of anime, Brett Weaver. We've got Diamond Jim Tyler. What are we doing? All right, this just uses your hands. Okay. All right. I have so, those. Um, first, I'm going to give you a riddle, actually, just using my hands. Okay. And then we'll show you something with your own hands. How many fingers am I holding up right now, counting the thumbs as fingers? Uh, ten. Ten. So how many fingers on ten hands? That would be a hundred fingers. No, sir. Ten hands. Fifty? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that funny how your mind is? Yeah. It's, it's better than you think, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? It gets everybody. It gets everybody. So no more math stuff. Glad I could be your room. Um, there we go. <laughs> so this one, what I want you guys to do is uh, extend your, uh, clasp your hands together firmly. Yeah. Like you're squeezing mm -hmm. a ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Real firm. Take your index fingers and press them together as firm as you can. Okay. Okay. And then separate them as far as you can. I'm going to use on his, I'm going to do some invisible thumb screws and actually mm -hmm. make them, you'll see, you'll feel them wanting to go oh, back no. together. Isn't that oh, interesting? No. I must oh, resist. Yeah, I, you can't resist. I cannot resist. Is it, wor is it working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel it's going back together okay, like that? Okay, there we go. And interesting. Uh, I, I can. Until they touch, you feel them, they're about. Oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. We go. This is definitely what everybody at home should try right now. Yeah, and and everybody will look silly in front of their computer doing it, but it really does yeah, yes. clap work. Clap your hands together. Okay. Your hands. Why does that work? Is it just that everything fatigues and you want to it's, go in? Yeah, or? well, especially if you put all that pressure and then you push your fingers together, yeah. the muscles are getting really, really tense. So when you separate them and you stretch them back far, they want to relax and they want to straighten. Mm -hmm. And so a friend of mine, his name was uh, Lou Zafrin. He was once known as the witch doctor of uh, Guadalcanal. He did hypnotism. And this was a hypnotism, like a way to see who was more susceptible, who would follow your instructions. And a lot of people will resist. They'll keep pulling mm -hmm. them apart. So I thought Lou's genius was to add the invisible thumb screws and say, I won't touch you, you don't touch me. So now they can't pull back. Right. And it's almost like you're psychologically pushing them together. And it's an even better test because you're not directly saying, I'm forcing your fingers together so there's nothing to resist. Instead, mm -hmm. you're just describing something vividly and what naturally is happening happens. And now it's just recontextualized as this is a person who's going to play along and cooperate. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the next thing is just a simple test. You're going to put your hands out like you're a zombie. Okay. And then put them, uh, your hands back to back. And then you're gonna cross over and then lock your fingers together with your thumbs down. Make sure the thumbs yeah. are pointed straight down like okay. that, okay? And now all you do is this. Just follow my action. Just turn your wrist up so your thumbs are up. It's, it's so good. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> okay, so what, so what? Hands out like a zombie. Okay. Hands back to back. Okay. You're gonna interlace your fingers. Yep, and like that. Make sure your thumbs are pointed down. Yep, just like yeah. that. And then all you do, watch, you just turn slowly and your thumbs are Why up. am I not able to do this? <laughs> Yours is so much more elegant than mine because I can't help but do, like I, I get to all the same steps, I tell everyone to do this, and then usually I'm doing it at a crowd and I'll just say, including you in the back, and then that makes everybody feel defensive. And then I come back to, to okay. this, but as Brett just demonstrated, yeah. it, it's too transparent. So so walk, walk me through the subtleties. So hands out like a zombie. Okay. Hands back to back. Okay. Interlace your fingers, and so they're, yeah, lock them together. Okay. And now I say, ah, I, I release. I say, make sure your thumbs are pointed down. Damn. Now I'll bring this hand back here. Got it. To this position. Yep. And then you And do it this. looks the same from it an does. audience's perspective. It looks the same. So now all you do is just- Oh, that's fantastic. fantastic. I mean, even being familiar with the bit, there's such a grace and elegance and a legitimacy to the reason that you're breaking to lean over and, and explain mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. That's so you're good. To help. You're being helpful. Yeah. And, and the audience is so focused on doing the thing, yeah. they don't notice the rest of it. As a matter of fact, usually I will end with that one, but before I do it, I'll, I'll say, uh, everybody put your arms out to uh, swing your thumbs like testicles. There you go. There you go. There, but, 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 but left over right, left over right. Left, left, left over, right. over right. There we go, okay. there we go. You're gonna interlace them, interlace them, get them nice and locked in, locked uh -huh. in, locked in. Uh -huh. You're gonna bring them around so your knuckles are touching your chin. Mm -hmm. Knuckles are touching your chin. You're gonna extend your index fingers like this. Like, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, wow. And that. now, if you've done it right, without letting go of your chin, unhook everything. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't know see, if I did it right. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Try it again. Try it again. Do it on their nose. Then that would no. It would be. Man, that's really good. Okay, so this one works because when you're in this position and you cross left over right, the most comfortable way to clasp your hands together is like this. Is if your left arm is on top, mm -hmm. your right pinky wants to be on top. 
and that's what most people do. Right. So what we're gonna do is the uncomfortable thing of having the left on top and the left pinky on top. Okay. Once you do that, while they're still interlaced, whether it's your, your chin or your nose, it doesn't matter, but then you're able to uncross oh, yeah. just like that, right? Just got lucky. I, I thought you knew this one and we were no, messing I, with I'd me. I learned it one time, but I didn't know yeah. actually. Yeah. I learned a thing. Okay, uh, so can you remember all four of those? No. <laughs> Good thing we have YouTube. Good yeah. job, guys. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Heads up, Scam Nation, it is happening. Rooster Teeth Expo, July 1st through 3rd. You can see me live doing my award-winning magic. I'm gonna be teaching you magic. We're gonna be learning how to scam our way into anything. We've got two shows. One's a comedy show with my buddy, Justin Robert Young, called Great Night. The other is nothing but magic and mayhem. Get your ticket right now by heading on over to bit.ly slash scam nation. Capital S, capital N. I don't, I, I don't know if that matters. The point is, you'll get a special discount and they'll know it was us who sent you there. It has been way too long since I've been on the road. And finally, we get to connect, do live magic, and learn awesome stuff. Who knows? If I could talk her into it, might even have Josie there.